So today we are looking at the Black Arch Linux. So these are all the options available in the boot menu. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. So I never made a video on the Black Arch Linux. So today we are making a video. So pretty much I covered all those uh, Linux distros, which are almost 3000 videos on every Linux distro. But I forgot to make a video on the Black Arch Linux. Today is the date we are making the uh, Arch Linux of uh, Black Arch Linux. So I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a virtual machine, which is uh, VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5 1240p. So usually it should take like a maybe two minutes or a minute to load up the desktop layout, uh, which will take that much of uh, time in my laptop. But uh, let's see how much of time it consumes. So it took just like a 20 to 30 seconds to uh, load up. So we have to put the password, which is a black arch. Let's click on login. So it's going to take a few seconds and uh, we should be getting our desktop layout. Wait and uh, see how much of uh, time it takes. So the, the instantly uh, you can see the menus in the taskbar and everything is uh, pretty much loaded I guess. So let's change the display settings first. So let's go to the settings. So the desktop environment you get the XFCE. So I already made a video of uh, let's first change it. So I already made a video of RTX Linux today. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out because I'll be posting two videos daily. So that was the another video and here is the Black Arts Linux. So today's videos are these things. So let's open the task manager. I hope we have like a task manager here. I don't think there is a task manager here. Let's uh, try to find again. Under system, you don't get the task manager multimedia internet so this is simple applications just the black arts linux uh, applications are added other than that there is nothing here so let's check the about xfce so this is the xfce and uh, the version you get is a 4.18 gtk version is 3.24.37 and the kernel version is 6.2.13 so here is my CPU, memory and GPU. Let's close it. Let's open the internet browser, which is uh, Firefox. We have also the Chromium. You can choose whatever you want. So let me open the Firefox browser. So usually it should take like a maybe 15 to 20 seconds to load up the uh, Fire Firefox web browser. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, stuttering because I'm uh, tired. So let's try to make the video like that. So let's check the about. So 112, because this is not a uh, latest uh, release. I didn't made a video on the Black Arts Linux. So that's the reason I downloaded the ISO file. I'm going to show you the uh, date of the ISO file right now. Let me type in about support first. so here are some of the information you can just pause the video and read everything on your own so the window protocol protocol x11 desktop environment xfce there are some of the information here you can just pause the video or you can just slow down the video by uh, going to youtube settings and a playback speed change the playback speed to 0.25 and you should be seeing everything in a slow-mo so let's go to the official website which is a uh, black arch linux and uh, hit enter the first link is the official website so here is the website here is the home downloads guide FAQ, tools, community news and all those things. Here are all the ISO files. Black Arch, full ISO. So these are all the things you get. 
and uh, slim iso so this is a slim iso which is around 6 gb so if you want the full iso uh, or the full iso file the video i'm going to make it if you want do let me know in the comment section or uh, drop a lot of likes uh, so i can make a video on it because the file size is around like a 22 gb i can make a video on that if you only if you want so the uh, iso file which i'm using right now is uh, black arts linux 64 bit slim iso and the date of this is 2023.05.01 as you can see it's a 5.5 gb file size so you can directly download it right here it should take a few seconds and you should be having your downloads here let's close it so if you want to get some of the information you can just uh, scroll it down you can choose other mirrors if you want you can go with the news for some of the information you can just go to their official website and get all the information right here let me close it let's uh, open the console or the terminal let's type in inxi hit enter come on not found Neofetch, not found. Let's see the kernel version. Add fallen slash etc fallen slash issue. Black Arts Linux. Let's try the head stop. So the RAM is almost uh, 676 MB of 8 GB. So tasks are 74, 161 threads, one running, load average, uptime almost 7 minutes. Let's uh, close this thing, close the window. Let's check the desktop wallpapers. So you get the basic wallpapers here, menus, icons, everything is same. So you don't get any of the applications pre-installed here. You just get uh, some of the Black Arts Linux automation bluetooth i'm not going to run any of the application just i'm going to show what are the applications available from the black arts linux so on the bluetooth crypto debugger defensive dissembler fingerprint forensic fuzzer misc networking proxy recon reversing scanner sniffer spoof tunnel web app wireless so these are all the from the black arts linux and the system applications are just from the xfce so these are all the basic things under development just cmake graphics registry to image viewer nothing more here just the on the internet you get the chrome browser and a firefox web browser multimedia carol media player pulse audio volume controller under system here are other options let's see the installer the password is the black arch so if you want to try it you can try it on your uh, virtual box or live boot so if you were trying to install it's clearly up to you i'm not going to say anything there so you need to be very careful while uh, doing all those things so first the cameras you get this version and the languages again these are this is the same cameras installation steps there is nothing uh, difference or complicated here click on next after choosing your language choose your location you can choose the map or you can just choose the drop down menu the system language will be set to american english the numbers and date locales will set to be american english you can customize these things if you want click on next choose your keyboard click on next again if you don't know how to install the uh, linux distros on the hard disk you need to watch some tutorials like a five to six channels tutorials to properly uh, know what it's uh, to install this linux distro and how to install this linux distro so i have videos but i don't properly remember because i made like a 3000 videos of every linux distro it's pretty much very hard which linux distro i installed in the virtual disk or a hard disk 
so that's the reason it's better option go check other channels and uh, get the information there so if you choose the rs disk it's going to uh, delete the current operating system and uh, it's going to install that so if you choose the virtual disk like there will be a hard disk here so if it's a virtual disk you can install that thing and if it's a main disk it's always a good option uh, try to get all the information and then go with the installation so manual partitioning is like a dual boot uh, op uh, like you should be getting dual operating systems so there, there should be some issues while you use dual boot options like a dual operating systems I properly don't know what it is but a uh, lot of people and lot of websites says there will be some issues uh, while dual booting do let me know in the comment section because I didn't uh, never dual boot any of the operating systems uh, for a long time just for like a maybe month like that so I didn't face anything but uh, if you are running like uh, from a lot of years or a lot of months then do let me know in the comment section it will uh, give me some of the information there so if you choose the encrypt system you need to provide the password uh, which should be same in the both the boxes so if you don't want you can do that later so here is the bootloader location if you want to install the bootloader location you can do that or you can do that later it's clearly up to you click on next here is the username password you need to provide your username and password let me do that right now username 95 nix login run boxing let me type in the password here is the password so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark if you click on request strong password you need to provide the strong password it's just a basically one to six password i didn't uh, type anything here complicated here but you didn't say anything wrong here so if everything is going good click on next so here is the summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation so if everything is good you need to click on install it will take like a five to ten minutes or more or less uh, depends on your pc so that will be more or less so i'm not going to install because i need to make another video so that's the reason i'm just going to close it so there is nothing to uh, really show here because there is no applications key installed and it's all about the as you can see i'm not going to use any word here so it didn't trigger my monetization so that's the reason you get the applications from here from the uh, black arts links you need to know what it is the black arts linux you need to go to the official website and get all the information here so here is the file manager file system so this linux is uh, just a simple minimalist uh, uh, linux so you don't get any bluetooth applications or anything like that you just get some of the uh, testing uh, applications from the black arts linux so if you're a normal user i don't recommend this linux distro because you don't need all those things if you're a normal user like uh, who works on the internet uh, like a uh, web browsing and all like a uh, little bit of uh, editing photo editing and video editing you need to check other videos of mine which is already in my channel like almost 3000 videos you can go check out uh, other channels this type of linux distros are for the pro users or for the viewer uh, or for the people who test uh, who do the testing things and all those things i'm not going to say the specific words because it may trigger the youtube so that's the reason so this is this linux distro is just for the pro user and my final thoughts on this linux distro is everything is going good there is no lag or anything because it's not a re latest release it's almost like a maybe a year ago so that's the reason so if you want another video of uh, a uh, full iso file which is around like a 20 under 25 gb if you want i can make an, uh, another video of that so do let me know in the comment section and uh, hit the hit the thumbs up button if you want so these are all the basic things i thought something will be different from uh, every other linux distro because i didn't made any video in the previous so that's the reason i was curious and i didn't have to be honest i didn't have any topic of any linux distros because i pretty much covered every linux distro which were pre uh, released in this week almost like a uh, linux mint 22 wilma and open mendirva endover os all those things i completely made a video on this thing in the channel so if you want to check that out you can check that out so i'm going to end the video here 
so the linux was pretty much good uh, if you're a normal user it's better to stay away from this linux so it's not bad or anything like that you don't uh, uh, need all the testing applications all those things you can just download other linux systems like a basic linux systems ubuntu manjaro linux mint there are plenty of lang uh, other uh, linux systems for a normal user or a basic user if you're a pro user you can just uh, know how to download and how to use and you know which linux distro you should be uh, downloading like a parrot os kali linux and this type of linux so i think i'm going to end this video here let's end the video here so i already made another video which is rtx linux you can check it out if you want so this is the logout screen and these are some of the application uh, not the application these are some of the features available right here so i'm going to end this video here thanks for watching peace out